Hi guys, this is a simple care guide um, and, a, and a bit of a showcase of my twin spotted uh, or white spotted assassin bugs. This is the glass tank that I currently keep them in. Um, they are a bug from tropical Africa. Uh, their scientific name is Platymeris bigutatis. Um, they are well known for their giant fang on the front of their head. Um, they hunt, they hunt communally sometimes, they will tackle prey together. The young will tackle larger prey um, and uh, generally a bit of a badass bug to, uh, to keep. This is the setup that I keep them in. Um, they tend to hide away behind that piece of root. Um, I, I'm going to blame that on the fact that I've got them here in the reptile shed near the front door. They're constantly walking past, coming in and out, checking on all the other reptiles. Um, so what I tend to do is uh, light them further into the evening than all the other reptiles. Um, I use an undercounter light from Ikea and uh, that is on a timer which comes on um, sort of midday <clears throat> and stays on into the evening which allows me to see them walk up and down this branch and they'll hunt and they'll use this branch to, to molt from as well um, when they need to molt. Okay so as you can see I flip the tank around and uh, this is where they like to hang out at the moment this is sort of where they spend most of their time during the day um, at the base of this root near the floor now I don't know if that is because of humidity or is because of their hiding um, I do find that me just walking past does spook them um, so they're not as badass as they look <laughs> They're a little bit scared of me. Um, and yeah, so they hang out down here. I've, I've dug away underneath there, so they can go even further underneath if they want. Um, I've, I haven't had them set up for a long time, so I, I haven't broken this apart, seeing if that's where they lay eggs or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so I don't mind them hiding back here. Um, I'd rather them have somewhere to hide um, and not be seen if that's how they want to live um and then i know that in the evenings and when they hunt they they come out and they they use the uh they use the enclosure and what i've done is i've mixed a bit of play sand with topsoil cocoa fiber just a bit of everything that i keep in the in the reptile shed that i use um and what i've also provided i've never seen them use it but it's always um worth providing is a little bit of water there um in the form of a a water bowl with a um, damp piece of blue roll um, that will stop them from drowning um, a water bowl filled up to the full height in there is potentially a, a risk for uh, for them falling in and, and drowning so um, yeah this is uh, this is the setup that I've got for them it's, it's, it mimics a little bit of an African forest floor um, I've scattered some leaves in there as well there's some some leaves that you generally use for for anything um, as long as they're a you know a safe leaf there's there's definitely some oak leaves scattered around in there a bit of sphagnum moss as well all sort of mixed in um, I don't heat the enclosure they're at room temperature um, the reptile shed gets to about 23 degrees in the winter um, and drops down to to about 20 21 degrees in the evening so the ambient temperature in this room is perfectly fine so as you can see that there's a there's a cricket in here, uh, which is obviously one that got missed from last night's feed. I tend to feed these guys once a week. I throw in enough food for each one. So I'll throw in four crickets if there's four adults in there. Um, it's generally how it how it works. And as you can see, they've obviously either one of them's missed a, food, a feed or they've preyed on it together. Or one of them's caught it and they've and they've fought and they've stolen it. Um, they are really interesting to watch when that happens. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, any film of that, but uh, I'm sure we'll see it at one point. 
Um, what I also do in here that you can't see is when I um, when I made this enclosure and I put all the soil and stuff in there. There is some springtails. There's wood louse, um, dwarf white, and tropical grey wood louse in there. I'm not entirely sure if they've survived. Um, the tank is a little bit dry, um, but as I say, I keep a damp side. We've got a fairly a fairly deepish substrate layer, as you can see, two to three centimeters there, um, and there's leaf litter in there. So there is points where the where the the cleanup crew, as such, will. Uh, We'll keep these. We'll, we should should be able to live, but I don't dig around in there to find out. Okay, so thanks for watching. There's a uh, a little bit of an insight into the two spotted assassin bug. See you next time.